It's your boy, baby boy, back again with another one. Today, I wanted to quickly show you guys the process of deoxidation. This is actually something that came up the other day. I was looking at my buddy's Yeezys and it was just killing me um, the way they look. The bottom of the soles were really yellow and this is something you can see a lot on uh, Yeezy models, a lot of Jordan 11s have this, Jordan 5s have this as well. I'll just show you guys what I'm talking about. Essentially, it's when the bottom of the shoe gets like very yellow like this. So now a lot of this could be dirt. You know, this could be things that you can't really fix. But in a lot of cases, this might actually just be the shoe is oxidizing, which is would turn a translucent sole yellow. Um, this is actually after one treatment. So I've already tried this one time. So I'll try to show you what they look like before and they definitely cleaned up. But we really want to bring out kind of the blue in the midsole here. Um, that's kind of the goal here. Obviously, there's some spotting. I'm not sure we're going to be able to get rid of, but this is a really nice shoe when it looks clean and we're going to try and get it back to its uh, kind of normal state as best we can. As I mentioned, it's the process is called just deoxidation or removing the oxidation of a shoe. Today I'm gonna to be using the Soulbrite formula. There's a lot of different ones that you can use. I would just Google uh, deoxidation or remove oxidation. There's Salon Care 40 I know, or Salon Care 50. I'm using the Soulbrite from Angelus. Basically the point, it, what we're gonna do is we're going to essentially paint this onto the shoe, attach cling wrap to the shoe, and then leave it out in the sun. Uh, UV will activate this and the sun will actually kind of remove the oxidation and hopefully get rid of some of this yelling. So as yellowing, we've already tried this once. I'm gonna try it again. It's a really sunny day. I figured I'd film it this time just in case some of you guys at home might wanna try this out. But basically I'll show you what it looks like here. All right guys, so what I'm doing right here is I'm actually setting down cling wrap kind of as my work surface. Um, I'm gonna work on each shoe individually. So we'll start with the right shoe. Now, one thing to note here is that this shoe has actually already been cleaned. So fully cleaned, we used the cleaning solution, kind of scrubbed it off with a hard bristle brush, brush on the bottom. So this is a clean shoe that we've already removed the dirt from. So now I'm going to pour out our Soul Bright or our Soul Sauce, whichever one you wanna use. And I have a paintbrush here to help me apply it onto the bottom of the shoe. We'll pour out a decent amount. And you do wanna be kind of generous with this just to make sure that each you know crack and crevice has been touched by the Soul Sauce. So I'll just go through and paint. And again, this only really works for outsoles and midsoles. So one thing you do wanna stay away from is getting this on other parts of the shoe, like the upper. I'm not really sure how this would react with the knit upper that the Yeezy has, but I'm pretty sure it's bad. And you don't wanna get this stuff on your skin as well. So definitely be careful when applying this. It will burn the shit out of you. <laughs> so yeah, we're just gonna apply an even layer throughout, hopefully get in all these cracks and crevices. Again, we are hitting not only the outsole, so this bottom part, but also the midsole, so we can bring back some of that blue, that blue tint within the midsole, because right now it's looking more like a pissy yellow tint, and that's not what we're looking for in this shoe. Again, using a paintbrush is gonna be the easiest thing to apply this. I would not use your hands unless you have a glove or, or some kind of latex glove or protective. Now that we've pretty much got the outsole covered, I'm gonna flip the shoe. And this is why I like to work on a cling wrap is because I'll be able to just cling it right on the shoe when I'm done. So now I'm going to hit the uh, midsole. And again, that's really the point of focus. Uh, these are my roommate's Yeezys, and he was really clear that if we can get some of the blue in back in the midsole, that would be very sick. So this is the second time I'm applying on the shoe, but the first time overall I'm doing this. So I didn't really know how it would work, but it, it seemed to work really well the first time. So we're giving it another go. Paint, paint, paint. It's kind of tough because the Yeezy has all these like little divots. So you actually want to go ahead and get in between each one so that it's not splotchy. Um, if it's not applied correctly and when you're wrapping up the shoe, it could affect the the kind of overall turnout of the deoxidation. So and try also try to avoid getting it on the uppers. But I've gotten a little bit on the uppers and it doesn't seem like it did anything last time. So it says one to three hours in the sun. Uh, my last time doing this, I would say we had it about an hour, but I think for the best results, you're gonna wanna do three hours at least. One thing to keep note of as well is yellowing soles are kind of in right now. 
So a little side note is that if you've got like a Jordan 1 with a yellowing sole or something like that, it has that aged look. You might not even want to do this because that's kind of trendy right now. But there's even like services like people I know on Instagram who like actually pay to have their shoes aged. And I think it's kind of a cool look, but this is like the opposite of that. I'm trying to make the shoe look new again. I'm gonna start applying this wrap. So what I'm gonna do to help me out actually today is I got a blow dryer or like kind of like a heat gun. So I'm gonna lightly put this wrap over top of the shoe and hopefully using the uh, blow dryer or heat gun will make it stick. All cling wrapped up. See, as you can see, it's not like completely airtight. So the hope is that the blow dryer will kind of make the plastic wrap cling onto it. Who else you know got the vintage son of a gun blow dryer? Come on now. You can't find this anywhere. Distressed and everything, paint on it. Woo! There's one shoe. Uh, I'm gonna wrap the second shoe and then I'll show you guys putting this out in the sun. All right, here's my little makeshift UV box. So we're gonna leave these out for about an hour to three hours. And see what kind of uh, yellowing we can pick up. Yo, so we are back. We just did about, I would say one to two hours of the deoxidation on the Yeezy 350 blue tints. Um, this is what we got. Uh, as you can see, there's definitely still some yellowing on the bottom, but we were able to remove a lot. Uh, trust me when I say these were very cooked and they're looking a little bit better. As you can see, there's some spots here that we really just couldn't get rid of. I'm not really sure what those are. Those just might be stains and not really because they're older, but these were looking a lot better. We were able to clean them and get some of the blue back in the uppers as well, but I just wanted to show you guys real quick how you could deoxidize a shoe if you were interested in. Again, this is kind of taking an older midsole and making it wider. This will work for a lot of different shoes, like in Air Force One, it will make the midsole wider. It can also work for, you know, Jordans, your translucent soles, things like that. So this is definitely something you could check out. The bottle I got was about $8. It was pretty cheap, so look into that. But hey, I hope this was helpful. I hope you guys learned something uh, and I'll catch you in the next one. Peace.